What's good, YouTube? This is your boy Tyler Now and Now Seven, and today I want to go ahead and talk about uh, top. I mean, five games I want ported to the Nintendo Switch. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start this video. For number five, I, the game that I want ported to the Nintendo Switch is Metro Redux. All right, guys. The reason why I picked Metro Redux as the um, my number five pick for the Switch is because I feel like the uh, the game Metro, because it's a first person single player uh, linear story. I feel like this will definitely be perfect to um, put uh, put this game on the Switch, just because I feel like the for the Metro series, I wouldn't say I don't want to make it sound like it's an underrated game, like a lot of people don't know what it is, but I feel like because I mean like. Like I said, um, I don't want to make it sound like it's an underrated game, but I feel like a lot of people don't really know what Metro is really is, and so I feel like if you put this game on a Switch, Metro would actually be, uh, you know, it would definitely get some spotlight for this game, and more people would, I could definitely see more, be more interested to try this game just because, like, like I said, the way it is, the, like I said, the uniqueness of the story and everything. So I kind of feel like, why not put Metro on the Switch? I feel like it's definitely good to get more recognition for the game, and definitely, you know, just a fun game just to have on the Switch. All right, guys, that's it. On to the next one. All right, guys. For number four, the game I want ported for for the Nintendo Switch is any of the Spider-Man games that goes from Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man Two, and Spider-Man Shadows. Uh, I mean, Web of Shadows. All right, guys. So here's the thing. I know the Switch would never get Spider-Man PS4 because it's a Sony exclusive. So I thought about it. I was like, you know what? Even though we could never get Spider-Man PS4, what about the Spider-Man games from the past? So, so I had picked three Spider-Man games that I feel like would be a definitely good pick for the Switch. So you know, they are Ultimate Spider-Man, Spider-Man, uh, Spider-Man 2, and Spider-Man Web of Shadows. <laughs> And the reason why I picked them three games specifically is because I feel like don't, these three games are the best Spider-Man games to date. And with that, I feel like each one is unique. That it'll definitely be a good port to put on the Switch. I mean, a good port. To either. And with that, I just feel like uh, like for Ultimate Spider-Man because it's more like comic book style. You know, th you know, it's different. Spider-Man 2 more realistic. But you know, I you know, Spider-Man 2 was definitely a good game, you know, anyway. So I feel like why not put that game on the Switch? And then Spider-Man Web of Shadows, the reason why I feel like that game would be um, good for the Switch because I mean, you know, what more can I really say? Like it definitely looked like a very, very good Spider-Man game. Unfortunately, I didn't get never get a chance to play it, so I can't really give a good reason why I feel like that one is gonna switch, but because I guess for the most part, I could say that because how I got the symbiote thing with Spider-Man trying to save everybody on the city and things like that. I just feel like because of the success of Spider-Man, why not at get some Spider-Man ports on the Switch and take the Spider-Man on the go? Because I feel like that would definitely be like a good, um, you know, a good move to do. And I feel like more people they are going, they going to be, um, you know, willing to want to play a Spider-Man game on the Switch. And you know, like I said. Uh, you know, Spider-Man is definitely a unique Marvel character, and with that, I just feel like any game that just comes on the Switch, just in general for Spider-Man, I just feel like it's just going to automatically sell, especially for Switch, uh, especially for Nintendo fans that, you know, who, um, may maybe never played a Spider-Man game, so I feel like, why not? <laughs> Literally, like, why not? So... That's kind of my thoughts of why uh, I think any of these three Spider Man games could come to the Switch. So that's it. Alright, guys, on to the next one. Alright, guys, for number three, the games, uh, the game I want ported to the Nintendo Switch is either Mortal Kombat X or Injustice 2. Alright, guys, the reason why I feel like Mortal Kombat X and, um, and just two should come to the switch is because I feel like both of these games would definitely be a big impact 
for the Switch for the fighting genre just because I mean like I know that uh you know we, rec we recently got fighters uh but I know there's some third party games and then of course you know Smash Bros is going to come in December which I'm ready for that game but still I feel like the for the fighting genre on the Switch is there's not really a lot of really options to really play on there like really good selections I'm, but like I said I don't want to discredit any of the third party companies who made some of the fighting games that's on the Switch now but I just feel like it still kind of feel you know like it's dry like it's really nothing there so I feel like both if both of these games on the Switch it's going to sell like I feel like it would be so much perfect if these games could come on the Switch and the other reason why I kind of feel like if it'd, it'd be a good idea to port both of these games on the Switch is because uh, I remember this one article it was talking about with Ed Boom, he uh, you know the creator of you know like Mortal Kombat and Justice and stuff. I remember he said something that like he would be um, I think he said he would be interested to, to attempt to port like uh, for example like Injustice 2 on the Switch so I feel like why not like literally why not I feel like this would be definitely will sell and I feel like the uh, Mortal Kombat fans and Injustice 2 fans would definitely hop hop on board on this especially playing a fighting game on the go especially how good both of these games are so I feel like yeah both of these games should come on the Switch why not basically all right guys that's it all right guys on to the next one all right guys for number two the game i want ported to the nintendo switch is final fantasy 15. all right guys so this is my thing i know that i think if i remember correctly square Enix said they can't port final fantasy 15 on switch so we was resorted with the final fantasy 15 pocket edition but uh but still though know, guys i feel like square Enix like they did a good job of like porting like the other final fantasies that's gonna be coming on the switch some um soon or they go like probably 2019 i think it was something like that but anyway i feel like square Enix they should really really tr uh give it a chance to see if final fantasy can, final fantasy 15 can really run on the switch just because i mean i i understand that not every game can just just run on the switch but i do feel like final, final fantasy 15 it's a possible chance that it could actually work and i just feel like for square Enix, um what they should do they should at least um you know they should at least give it at least a chance and like even if they had to do a beta try you know they should uh you know they should at least try it out or even um even probably even let like panic button who ported a wolfenstein 2 and doom on the switch and now they better um, port well, warframe into uh you know on a switch so i feel like square it is want to give it somebody give it a pen about it because i would really love to see final fantasy 15 come to the switch and i feel like a lot of final fantasy fans would like to see that too in my opinion but um yeah like i said i really feel like final fantasy would be definitely be a very good port on the switch and if it's a possibility that square Enix could do it hopefully they give it a shot all right, guys, that's it. On to the next one. All right, guys, the number one game I want ported to the Nintendo Switch is Borderlands The Handsome Collection. All right, guys, do I really have to explain why I think this masterpiece of a game should come to the Nintendo Switch? Borderlands The Handsome Collection is the i'm talking about the most definitely the perfect game that should come to this nintendo switch because this game is got the multiplayer it got it can do the local co-op co-op it just everything about this game is a no-brainer for nintendo to not port uh, port this game on the switch and plus i mean it'd be good to have like you even if they add the first of borderlands on there so i feel like that's it like that's all that's all i really have to say all right guys that is it all right guys thank you for watching the video 
hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, follow me on my social media outlets, and hit the bell to get the notification of my next video. Alright guys, peace, and I'll see you on my next video.